Hello, this is Abi from Warehouse Republic, and today I will be walking you through uh, how to create an outbound order uh, in 3PL Central, which is the warehouse management system that we use. Now, there are two scenarios when you will be creating a, um, an outbound order uh, in our system manually. One is when you're setting up an FBA shipment or you're requesting something to be shipped into uh, one of the FBA fulfillment centers. And the second case would be when you are setting up a direct to customer or a um, what we call a B2C shipment. Uh, most of your B2C shipments are probably gonna be running through an integration. So this is, some, uh, this is kind of useful to know in case you need to put in a replacement order or uh, for some reason uh, needing to input it manually. So, um, uh, first, uh, first off, I'll just walk you through what uh, setting up an FBA shipment looks like. And it's very similar, just like a couple of th small things you want to keep in mind. So I'm just going to go to orders, create an order, uh, just pick yourself as a customer, and then you're going to take your shipment ID uh, from uh, your FBA shipping plan, and you're just going to put that as a reference number. It helps us and you be a little bit more organized and uh, you know able to look up the shipment. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And once that's done, uh, it'll give me this detailed screen and you can basically put in, in the company name, I would actually go and put in like the FBA, um, so let's say LAX 9 or whatever, uh, the fulfillment center name and put in the address. And again, uh, try to be as accurate as possible and replicate what's, uh, what's on the shipping plan. And that way it's easy, easier for us to kind of like match up the labels. Now, um, as you're gonna be doing this again and again, I recommend actually adding whatever address you put in here to your favorites so that next time around, it's as simple as going to look up contacts and just selecting um, that particular saved address. And with one click, it's all full, uh, all uh, filled out for you. So uh, next step would be going into order line items. So you can either just click here and it auto scrolls down to that section. And here's where you're gonna pick the SKUs and quantities. Uh, of course, you wanna uh, check beforehand to uh, in your inventory reports and there's another video for that. Uh, but you wanna make sure it's in stock before you add it to this, uh, uh, this particular order. Otherwise the order becomes unallocated and it gets flagged in the back back end. Uh, so just to add a SKU, I'm gonna give like two, two examples out here, two, three examples. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. I'm gonna put quantity, say 100, add, close, then I'm gonna add Sorry, that's the weight. Um, so we've added, we've added these. And once I close out of this, you'll notice that the LW01 is red, uh, which is actually an indicator that this stock is, uh, sorry, this SKU is not in stock. So for, you know, if there is an exception like this and you know you should have this in stock, please contact a help desk and we can kind of look into it but ideally the, uh, the inventory counts are accurate and uh, you've already researched that and you've uh, created your shipment plan according to that. So I'm going to just remove that one uh, for current purposes. So now you can see everything is uh, not red and it looks uh, good to go. And the, uh, the last thing what I would do is actually, well, uh, first of all, we're gonna just go ahead save and once it's been saved, you, uh, and once you've kind of uh, verified the details, you can actually mark it as complete, okay? So once it's marked as complete, you're gonna see this document button lights up. Uh, you can then go ahead and attach files, and you're gonna simply browse on your computer, and you're gonna pick your FBA labels, and just uh, do that, and hit attach.
and sometimes these files can be a little little bit big so it might take a little bit of time um, but there you go uh, it's been uploaded you can hit done and at this point you can ex exit uh, in case you are wondering if it actually got attached or not you can always go back to documents attached files and you can kind of see it there and the beauty is we actually see this on the back end uh, attached to the order so we can download and print it and do what we need to uh, on the back end so that's done and you can now exit so when you exit uh something to do uh, something you can do is like just click on this find orders button and typically you can see anything that is uh in the queue um open means the orders like you're basically still setting up the op uh the order and complete means it's been verified it's good to go and that's actually the stage at which we uh start seeing it in our queue so uh, if you ever see orders that are red or blue, red means uh, it's like even missing SKUs, so like no, no line items. And if you see blue, it means it's partially allocated. That means one of the SKUs is kind of out of stock. So you want, uh, it's a good practice to kind of watch your pipeline and uh, always feel free to reach out if you have questions about this. So um, this was like a quick review of what an FBA shipment uh, looks like. And for direct to customers, again, it's really, really simple. You go find, uh, sorry, not find orders. Let me get out of that. Uh, you just go to orders, create orders, and let's do this. So uh, now if you have a Shopify order or something, you can actually put in the order number there. I'm just going to, you know, like just do B2C1. I'm going to save it. And in this uh, scenario, this is the shipping information uh, you're going to put um, for your customer where the uh, uh, goods are going. Uh, so like, let's and uh, one thing to remember, it's kind of a little bit weird, but you got to uh, put like uh, put the customer's name in the company name field. So I'm just going to do this for right now. All right. And it's good practice to basically put a phone number. All the stuff is relayed to uh, the shipping carrier. Um, and okay, so once that information is done, you now want to, and at any given time, you can always hit save so that you don't lose that information. Um, and then you can actually go ahead pick the SKU you want to send in. Uh, and typically these are smaller quantities. So just do that. And the one thing that I would um, recommend doing is actually going to carrier and routing and then picking up, uh, like say you wanted to go ground. So you're going to put United Parcel Service and you can actually choose the service level. And that way our system knows uh, what to do. Um, and typically all these will be getting shipped uh, on our account and then we, uh, we build them to you at the end of the month. Uh, if you have any specific instructions, uh, this is a great place to put uh, warehouse instructions. This is what we see on the back end. Um, this is for, of course, both um, uh, direct to customer as well as FBA shipments. Uh, so you can put instructions on there and sorry the other thing I forgot is when you're doing Amazon uh, Shipments you can actually choose Amazon inbound um, Sorry Amazon freight as an option uh, If that's you know if it's getting kind of picked up uh, with that um, All right other than this uh, You can basically hit save uh, save and then mark as complete. And that's pretty much your B2C, um, B2C order. Uh, please let us know if you have any other questions. Thank you.